I believe we are live. What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Today I have with me Bubba and the Beard. Boys, why don't you say hello? Hey, hey. Hey, how you guys doing? Come by. So. Come by with me. It says waiting for you, though. It says waiting for me? Yeah. Hmm. It says live on my end. It says live up here in the, the corner. In the top we have corner. two viewers in, uh, three viewers now, so I'm assuming we're live. Yeah, I think we're live. Hey, hey, you, you viewers, um, say something like in the chat if you can see us. We're all a little new at this, guys, so bear with us. It says, see, it says, it says upcoming event. That's what it looks like if you go to your page it, right now. And if you refresh it, what happens? I, I tried. It didn't. But it says we have nine viewers right now. Yeah, but no one's commenting. Yeah, weird. Someone say something. <laughs> Anything. Yeah, this yeah, is. I don't think they can see us. Um, the only options I have over here is stop broadcast and 11 viewers. I don't know. 11, I think they can see us. 11 viewers. Not I think they can see us. Oh, yeah, they can they're, see us. They, they can see is. us now. <laughs> What's up, everybody? All right, I'm going to pour out my Elijah Craig barrel proof that these lovely gentlemen over here, Bubba and the Beard, sent to me in this nice little Bubba and the Beard container. All right, they also have a whole bunch of beard supplies. So why don't you guys um, talk a little bit about how you guys started out as whiskey reviewers. One day, a long, long time ago, <laughs> in a land far away, uh, Bubba and I were around a campfire last year, and we got a little inebriated on rye whiskey, Knob Creek Rye. Mm -hmm. And uh, his, in his inebriated state, he said, we should start a YouTube channel like the Scotch Test Dummies. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And he's like, we can call ourselves the Bubba and the Beard. And I was like, Okay, let's do it. And a couple months went by, for maybe like three or four months, and I was like, "Yeah, let's go ahead and do it." And uh, his wife got on board, and ever since then, we've been uh, reviewing whiskey kind of funnily. Funnily, awesome, awesome. Like funnel cakeily. Yeah, we don't take ourselves too serious. Like having a good time. Like we we love our bourbon, we love our rye, and we're trying to get uh, slowly learn as much as we can about the scotch. Yeah, um, you guys are doing well though. I mean. You guys have reviewed a couple of scotch so far, right? Yeah, I have. We did Monkey Shoulder, Bocalta. Bocalta, Glamour, yeah, the Bocalta. The Glamour, Glamourangi, Glamourangi. What is that? How do you say it? Six. Glamourangi. Glamourangi, I said Glamourangi. Yeah, don't worry, I had, I had my fair share of trouble with that one as well. Trust me. Yeah. Um, the Macallan 12. No, 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 not the Macallan. The Dalmore. 12. Um, I know it has added color or whatnot, but um, that one we have reviewed. We just haven't released yet. All right. Um, we, we have we have recorded, pre-recorded, so okay. that one will be coming up soon. We have a few uh, whiskeys we're going to be looking at tonight. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Uh, you guys want to show them the bottle on your end? Because you guys sent it to me. So maybe... Yes. Yes, yes. And what's the proof on this one? This is 139.4. It's a batch of it's batch 11. Um, I believe it's the third highest ABV. There's a 140.1 that they call the hazmat. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, this is melt your face off kind of uh, proof. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There, there's, a, there's one slightly higher called the hazmat. That's their highest, 140.1. Then there's another one, 139.8. And then batch 11 is 139.4. Batch 11, from what I can find on the internet, is one of the most sought after. It's a um, unicorn. Which is, well, but which is funny because it's the most readily available around us. Like, okay. there's still three, three, three bottles, bottles sitting on the shelf right now at the, the guy that we go to. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't sure if you are going to share that live, that information. Be gone and we just it. talked about it last, or Thursday night. Yeah, on our whiskey Thursday on the, night. Whiskey on the side. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, on the on side, the side liquor. liquor. <laughs> on we wish it was just whiskey. On the side liquor, yeah. Nice. Only in New York. 
All right, so did you guys pour yourself a dram or look at the yeah. color on this? this is ridiculous. Yeah. Beautiful color. It's so um it's so dark. I mean it, I want to say golden, but it's darker than golden. It's, it's yeah, like it's definitely wrong. darker than golden. Um yeah, super, super dark, uncut, no no added color, beautiful stuff. I I never I, it never tires. It doesn't tire. It's no. just, it's so good. It smells like after a long day at work. <laughs> you, it smells like, it's like it smells like sweat. I think in, in our review, I think in our review, I I said it tasted like unicorn tears. <laughs> <laughs> Take my money, juice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bart calls it the bottle of wow. I, oh, I, wow. Yeah. I call which which is the perfect name. Yeah. Um. I call it take my money juice just because. <laughs> well, if I, if I, if I, price, it's a fair price where you guys are. You guys are getting it for around $50 US a bottle. Yeah, 60 usually. 50, 60, 60. range. Okay. For, for well, the layman. 140 the layman's layman's bottle, though. at the LCBO. So. It's 60 for most people, but I, I, I got some hookups, so I get it usually for 50. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. That's, hey, if nothing else, this channel has brought us some nice hookups for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. the whiskey fabric is strong. Yeah, very strong. So, what do you get on this, Rob? Um, on the nose, I'm getting a lot of like butter, corn, sweet, like caramel, toffee, almost like caramel corn as well. I, I caramel corn, yeah, sugary. Now I do, I do now. This is a twelve year. It's age twelve. Um, I do get some dark, darker, uh, woody foot, you know, aromas as well. I mean, there's a whole lot of sugar and a whole lot of corn, and the, like you said, the, the caramel coated popcorn foot, you know. <laughs> he got a phone call. All right. I was wondering. I want to play that that little uh, ditty you you sent me earlier. Beard. Yeah, do it. Whenever you know, we'll, 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 we'll do it, yeah, yeah. He can do it live, maybe. I could probably do it live. That'd be cool. I'm down for that. That'd be awesome. So can you can you see the chat? Because we can. I can't. I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because my technology absolutely sucks. It's going. The chat room's going crazy right now. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's going absolutely nutballs. Probably better <laughs> that I don't see it because I have ADD and I would be distracted the entire here. time. Ask, ask him. Mark from Korea is here. What's up, Whiskey Whistle? Hey, is what's up, Mark? How do we see the chat? Yeah, they know what's going on. How do we see the chat? So I every time I click chat, all I see is the earlier comment that you made. That's it. Yeah, I think I think that's just the Google. Mel's here. What's up, Mel? Hey, Mel. Mel. Fun Johnny. Boy. Oh, Fun Johnny's here. OJ for hires here. Mark Akana. What's up, Mark? Hey, Fun, Fun Johnny is my cousin. He's a he's a great James guy. James Chen is here. Anthony Russo. What's up, guy? What's up, guys? Juan Pablo Posada. Oh, yeah. Lots of Mark O'Connor. Did you say that? EB Head 2424. Boom. Pete, That's right, EB Head. Pete, Peter White. <laughs> Peter White's here. What's, what's Rob using, uh, Mark, from Korea? What's the whistle I'm using. I'm using a... Um, MacBook Pro from 1902. <laughs> one earlier. <laughs> fun Johnny said, "Shout out, Bubba." Yeah, uh, I said, "Fun Johnny, he's the man." He, uh, fun Johnny. Uh, quick story. He, he he was one of the. <laughs> Never mind. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> he, he he introduced me to some some alcohol. So let's just say that. Some moonshine. Are we talking moonshine and stuff? No, 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 no. Just no. We're not allowed to talk about that here. Let's only oh, like, yeah, that. In Kentucky. We've never. We don't know. We've never about that. had any moonshine ever. We don't even know what that is. What is moonshine? What's that what? taste? Like? We've never had that. Well, before. Back in the days of prohibition. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, so what, I, I'm gonna try this neat, and then I'm gonna put maybe a touch of water because I. Need my taste buds for the rest of this alcohol that we plan to talk about tonight. Have you have you tried it yet, or is this your first sip? Mm -hmm. I just finished it right now, and that's quite wow. a bit. Like, what? Uh, how many milliliters are these little containers you sent? 
Uh, we get those yes. from Ryan and Brandy. They're like, four. They're four ounces. Four ounces. Yeah. So I, I don't. I don't know I, the Canadian milliliter conversion. There's four no ounces. Some funny comments. Probably going about a hundred milliliters. I would say maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, I think it's something like that because because uh, one ounce yeah. is technically a serving, and I think that's about. 30-ish, 25, 30 milliliters. So I'm going to say it's 100 milliliters. Somebody tell me on the, on the chat there. Not that I can read it. Maybe you guys can read it. Out Are you guys we, checking it out on your phone? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I can see it on my phone. Uh, Whiskey Whistle, Mark says, uh, juicy tidbit, watching while I shower. <laughs> Man. Mel, Mel, I don't know if I should nice be mentioning Mark. that. Or... Uh, or nice, Mark. So Mark says, oh. yeah, see. yeah, but I don't see the um the chat. Where do you see the chat? Go scroll, yeah. all, go all the way down. You go all the way down. Oh, okay. and click on live chat. Hey, uh, we're new at this, so uh, bear with us. We're uh, yeah, we're all we're all really new at this, <laughs> especially <laughs> me. He almost spilled it. So EBB head. I have the four row single barrel actually right here. Really good stuff. But we won't be talking about that tonight, unfortunately. All right, I think I'm up to up to date over here. I don't know. What do we have? How many do we have in the chat right now? Sixteen? Uh, I can't see how many people. You you would be the only one to be able to see how many people because it's your live show. It says yeah, it says seventeen over here so far. Not bad. Yeah. This, Welcome, honestly, everybody. you don't really need to add water to this, I'm going to say, because that's just damn good stuff. Oh, I think I got it. Are they commenting? Yeah. What are you guys picking up on the palette? Hold on one second. I think I got this so I we can see the, the chat. I get a caramel. And uh, just what's Baba say? Unicorn tears. I get a yeah, lot. I get yeah. a lot of unicorn tears. Unicorn tears. I'm gonna say I get some um, vanilla. Yeah, definitely some vanilla. Definitely caramel. I want to say like there's like a touch of a little bit, like a small amount of banana. Not like some bourbons, but there's a little bit of banana in there. Uh, Seattle's here. What's up, Seattle? We got Seattle, Tom, Renee, Dr. David. Very nice. I think I saw Scott. Was that Scott or Bart? Queen Bee watching. Rock. I'm not sure. All right, we got it. We got it so we can see it now. So You guys can see it? Sorry, yeah. let's go back to the whiskey. That's what we're here for. Yeah, yeah let's <laughs> talk about this whiskey before we uh, bore these guys a little bit. Um, I always say it's like brown sugar and cayenne mixed. So, you, cause you, you know, you have the, the astringency of the alcohol, um, coupled with that sweetness. I mean, I, I know you can find all sorts of flavors by adding water, obviously, but I just love it so much neat. I mean, it'll take me typically for a dram like that. If I'm just enjoying it, it's going to take me an hour hour and a half to finish it so yeah you know i'm, yeah, I'm gonna honestly, it. i don't think it needs water i think no. if you're trying to like pull out all the intricate the complexity of it then maybe add some water but mm -hmm. it definitely doesn't need it and it's kind of shocking because if my math mm -hmm. is correct that's like high 60s low 70s percentage yeah. 69.7 proof yeah there you go so, so that's crazy talk yeah right and for that for it to be a 12 year old at that kind of proof and that's just ridiculous mm -hmm. what are, like what do they barrel this at fire like it's <laughs> two thousand proof when they barrel it yeah, yeah, it, yeah exactly. it goes in it goes in it like like 240 which isn't even possible it goes in as <laughs> dragon's breath and then what happens is the aging process allows it to simmer down to a, a neat yeah. hot flame yeah, 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 that's crazy. Put that on a T-shirt. Distilled it, fire. <laughs> mm. 
Mark O'Connor said 127 proof question mark. Oh no, that's he's asking because Scott just dummy said they found the new bottling. There is a new bottling for this. I'm sure you guys are all aware. You got to be very careful because the the regular 94 proof, the regular that used to be the 12 year. Is that down? Yes. Oh yeah, grab that. That's right, Dr. David. We do not want to dilute the goodness. Yeah. Um, this is I'm sure you all are aware, but this is a new bottling for Elijah Craig. But the barrel proof looks identical to this, except for right here, it just says barrel proof. So don't walk by this without checking it if you want to bottle a barrel proof because I, I have done it. Yeah, it's similar to the Jack Daniels boxes. You gotta actually yeah. look at the fine print that says barrel proof or, or the regular. Yeah, so, bottles are identical. You can't really tell. So we're growing over here. We got 18 so far. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Heck yeah. No, uh, Rob, is this your first live? This is my first live, yeah. This, well, I did a live with the Scotch Test Dummies, but never on my well, own channel. Never on your channel, right? That's right. We we figured we'd um, – We're going to stick our toe in the water soon, Bubba and I. We're going we're gonna to be putting our toe in. We wanted to get a couple of live ones under our belt with more experienced reviewers before we took a dive. Yeah, we'll so. go shirtless for our first live show. <laughs> Nobody wants well, to. We'll have like, I mean, we're already not wearing pants. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys wear pants? What are you talking no, about? No, we don't. We don't wear pants. Hashtag no two pants. <laughs> I need to wear pants because I walk in because I'm too stupid to edit out the first part of my video. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, well, now you can play the little ditty you got. Yeah, 100% I'm going to play that. That's some good stuff. But I get um, brown sugar cayenne. Um, I do I get a lot of uh, the, the, the woody flavors. Oh, yeah. Is, um, hey, hey, ASTDs, I don't know which one is it is, <laughs> but uh, we have some Mutai here if you want to do one with us. Just say yes. We'd like to do one with you. Just you got a drink. You got to tell us you're going to do it. Give us a thumbs Our up. He absolutely and loves that stuff, right? <laughs> I think he just wants to get the gout. I think he wants to just drink it all. So we, <laughs> so we can recycle the glass and be done with it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just had a shot of it right at the beginning of the show, and I, I actually like it. I do like it. I, it I haven't tried it yet. They have it at uh, the LCBO over here for about 160 bucks, I think. I, 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 yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm not it's, uh, it's, venturing it's into that just yet. It's a completely different animal, Rob. It's 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 not any, like anything you've ever tasted. <laughs> All right, EB head. EB head says, "Get rid of some clothes, guys." You guys got to pay extra for that. See that live chat at the side. <laughs> yeah, you. If you go to your YouTube channel, you can pull it up. I just did a split screen. Making your uh, your window smaller. Oh, I see what you. Okay, yeah, I make can probably pull that. Yeah, make your uh, your your Google one of your Google uh, windows smaller. I just <laughs> I've been looking at the. Um, Fun Johnny knows how to speak French. That's right, Tom R. No pants needed for a long beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You even hashtag that. Who's pe who's a Pens fan here? Anybody? It Woo! looks like one more game, boys. That's all they need. One more game. Is Swami in here? Hey, Swami, how you doing? <laughs> I haven't oh, seen him yet. Tom Tom R says the love of good whiskey bringing the world together. The whiskey fabric. We're gonna make a quilt. <laughs> or, or, pretty, or at least the banana. Like something hammock. more masculine, maybe? Or I think we should I make. No offense to any Scottish people out there. <laughs> instead of a quilt, the beard said it. Instead of a quilt, we're gonna make a whiskey fabric banana hammock. Okay, I'm on my last sip here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grade this. Okay. Mm. That's gonna be my first A plus for bourbon. I, yeah. Woo nice. Nice. All right. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's really nice stuff. Um, my only reason for not going out to the LCBO and paying $150 for a bottle is I just know I can get it for cheaper elsewhere, eventually. So I'm. I, I just can't justify going to the LCBO and paying $150 just yet, but it's really good stuff. It's one of the better bourbon. If, well, it's the best bourbon I've ever had. So that's that. Yeah. And, and the whiskey in the six has spoken. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I gave it a 96 and you gave it a 94 on our 
official review, which is funny because I'm a heaven hill head. He's a Buffalo Trace head, but I gave Stag Jr. a little bit higher, like two, one point higher. I think you gave Stag a 96. I think you like Stag better. Yeah, I do like Stag better. You I like more weeded bourbons, I guess. Is Stag weeded or is higher wheat? wheat? Stag, I'm assuming Stag's weeded, but I could be wrong. I, I, don't, I, think it's, I don't think it's – like, it's I, not like a, a weller or anything. Yeah, it's not a well. No. No. Do you know? Let's see below. Maybe, maybe somebody knows in the comments. I can find is, out real quick. Is Stag Junior weeded, guys? And uh, Mark, Wiki Whistle, Mark. What I'm packing in this beard is endangered species, birds, <laughs> all kind. You ever hear of Peter Griffin? Oh yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna pour a little bit of my George Stag, but I'm not gonna use the rest of it just because I want to use the rest of it for an actual review. I'm not gonna review this one tonight. Okay. But uh, I'm gonna pour that one out. What? So you? So you guys combine A plus as well, technically, according to your um, mark scheme. You want to yeah. just kind of explain your mark scheme to your to the to the we, viewers? We do a high school marking <laughs> scheme that like I have trouble with because I didn't graduate until I was 27. <laughs> according to our YouTube channel? Well, basically, a lot of people do the 90 to 100 is an A, the eight, you know, the 80 to 90, or 80 to 89 is a B. Um, to be an A, for us, a low A is a 93. So it kind of, it opens up, I think it opens up the scoring a little more. I mean, because to, to be a 93, it's got to be damn good, you know. Yeah. Um, so 93 to 100 is our A scale. So I gave this a I gave, I gave this a 96, and one of the reasons I gave it a 96, if you watch our review, was I'm hoping there's at least four better bourbons in the world. It's because I'm trying to leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? Little uh, leeway. So. Little leeway. I, yeah, basically what I did is I, I wanted to, like, say, it's 100. I freaking love it. It's delicious. Scott but, said stag is not weeded. No, stag is, yeah. Stag is not weeded. Thank right. you, Scott. But, um... Wishes in my head often say ECBT. <laughs> Dr. Dave Doctor, Awesome. Yeah, doc, yeah, doctor, we agree. <laughs> um, but the – so the 96 is is a high A, higher A for, for us. Uh, for, for us. Um, our Bs are 85 to 92, and then our Cs are like 76 to 85. And we'll never review a D. And – to be on, yeah. To be honest, we we kind of agreed that if we try something and we don't even want to give it a seventy six, we're not going to put it on camera. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. Um, I think I've only done it a couple times, and and then you deal with some of the people that are affiliated with that brand, and then you, you kind of feel bad. So. Yeah. Well, and it's not like I'm. Um, it's not like we want to shy away from you know. We'll taste it. Shy away from some heat, you know, for, yeah, yeah. for saying it's not good. It's just it's not something we want to share with the masses if it's not yeah, at least to see. I mean, we've got five million subscribers right now that really <laughs> they want us. They want our. Uh, I think we're. On stuff. I think we're at five point two million. Oh, five point two yeah. million. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just gonna say because you guys are just ahead of me at five million, so I was gonna yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only by two hundred thousand, Rob. We're good. Yeah. You'll get that. We can get that overnight just from this live show. Yeah, for sure. All 17 viewers are going to subscribe at least, you know, a million times each. <laughs> That's nowhere near the map, though. Have you good. tried that Four Roses single barrel six? It is it is um, yeah. sealed. It's sealed? Oh, no, you did it try it. Good stuff. This is really, really good stuff, guys. Um, do, you know what, do you know which batch that is? This, this is – Batch. I know that there's a 35% rye mash bill to this. It's eight years old with eight years, eight months old. Um, batch wise, it says it's barrel number 53-3Q. So, and warehouse number LE. I have no idea, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we have we have good knowledge because uh, there's a. She's not a master distiller, but. One of the a girl follows us on Twitter, and she works for Four Roses, and she's really cool. Actually, I think the Scotch Dummies tried to figure out if they could do a live show with them. Yeah, what's her? Uh, I don't know what's going on. 
really nice girl. She was actually in one of those Twitter groups we had going there for a while. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Very, very knowledgeable with Four Roses. Yeah, it's honestly, it's really, really good stuff. If you like Elijah Craig stuff, you're going to like this one because it's got that heavy rye influence. I think okay. I... Bubba is looking for the whiskey with the best hook. I guess plus 75, it smells like Bubba's kitchen leaves a burnt oak splinter in the tongue. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks, you guys, for commenting. We're loving it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, just, I want to read this comment um, because it's totally true. And I don't mean to step on your toes, Rob, but it's a good one. Uh, Tom, Tom R. says, you guys both have quality viewer, viewers. Quantity is for Miller Lite or Budweiser. I got to say, our viewers... And I know you, you feel the same way. We have like just under 300 viewers, I think, right now, or 300 um, subscribers. Every, every one of them comments, interacts. It's, it's awesome. I mean, some we, yeah. we, have, we have viewers that have contacted us through email and sent us things. Perfect opportunity. Real quick. He's going to show a jug of water. I want to show this. This was sent to us by Jeff Pickering. Is Jeff here? Yes. Yeah, so that's going to be on our set. We haven't got it hung yet, but uh, I just just wanted to thank all of our viewers because me and the beard honestly thought five friends would watch this and make fun of us, and then that would be it, yeah. and we'd still have fun with it. Yeah, and we'd st we wouldn't care. Yeah, um, but now we have close to you know three hundred people that care about talking to us, and it's awesome. So yeah, thank you. Like I know we mention it all the time. We mention it when we're talking amongst ourselves and we mention it when we're in our own video. The whiskey fabric, the, the people that we deal with on a daily basis, it's what keeps us like doing this. Like we're spending tons of money. Like none of us are making money. I don't have like a maybe, <laughs> yeah. Ralphie maybe. No. I don't know who's making a lot of money out there, but it's not us. So And when we started this, it was never about the money. It's not no, even about the money. It's just about the like, you know. They're coming together. And well, and, and it, kind of one of our things that we say to each other a lot is the second that this becomes not fun, we just won't do it anymore. Yeah, we don't want it to be stressful. Yeah, this if was, we wanted to be stressful, we wouldn't do it. It's fine. And we, we can, no, and exactly. If it becomes stressful, we'll be like, hey, look, we had a YouTube channel once. It was awesome. We had yeah. a great time. But yeah, I think we're going to keep going for a you while. you see that? Gun by. Yeah. Oh, oh gun by. You ready? Are, we, are you Scott's ready? Scott's ready for the gun by. Scott, you ready? <laughs> stay ready, Scott. Just I wish I could join, join, join you guys, but I can't. Yeah, it's all right. We'll send you a sample. Maybe. <laughs> no, we'll send them some. No, we will, but we got it. We're live. <laughs> stay, stay ready, Scott. He's not gonna say that. Oh, okay. Got when by. you guys have me on your channel, then we'll uh, we'll go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. I dig that. I don't know. It's something about that. I the think it's energy. I don't know. It's, it tastes it's, like, it's it's, like you know what it tastes like? It tastes like sweet, dirty spinach. Yeah, it's not bad. It's <laughs> nah, I'm not so sure that sounds appealing, but uh, <laughs> I think the more you drink, the more you let it rest in air and get, I, oxidize a little bit. It's it's pretty good. <laughs> right on. Well, libation nation. Yeah, libation. I love it. I love it. So are we ready? We, we want to do something else. What do, what do we got yeah, here? I got I got some of the uh, Stag Junior. We're gonna we're gonna see if what the beard was saying is true that this one's slightly better than the Elijah Craig. So this is um the sixty five percent. We sent this to six as well, or sixty five. Yeah, sixty five percent. Sorry, uh, I'm not exactly sure what batch number it is though. Somebody probably knows in the comments. So this was available for a short time as well at the LCBO is around eighty dollars or so. Good. I think that's a decent price. I don't know. What did you guys pay for that? Fifty. Fifty. Yeah, that makes and that makes a lot more sense than fifty compared to one hundred and fifty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Scott said go. We, we got it. We went, Scott. Hopefully you got it. You better drink that. Mark's Mark. Hakana. There are rules to whiskey drinking. Mark Hakana's pouring Stag Junior right now, so let's. Smoke. All right, we'll, we'll wait for you guys. If you guys have Stag Junior in your cupboards, how many people are with us, Rob? We got we got about twenty two right now. Cool. All right, if you guys Stag Junior in your cupboard in your bar, grab it. We'll we'll give you thirty seconds. Hurry up, run, go. <laughs> oh, oh, you're on the poop. While, while you're run. running to get run, it, we'll we're not gonna start closing it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just wondering if any of my students are going to chime in tonight. Yeah. What uh, what what grade level do you? Too young. That's why I'm hoping they don't. <laughs> <laughs> grade eight. We eights. got a couple middle schoolers that, that chime in every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. we're an adult show. I coach. I coach. Yeah, I coach youth football. Um, and a couple of my and baseball, but more football. A uh, couple of my couple of my kids have uh, found the channel, so. I, I tell them they're not allowed to, not allowed to watch. But yeah, <laughs> well, well, we, I, we it's like saying don't look. Yeah, we we try <laughs> to um, um, we try to keep our channel pretty. All right, market con and nice. Pretty, gotta, pretty not. I mean, we try not to swear too much. You know, keep it clean. We, yeah, I keep it clean as well. I don't swear. I don't. Yeah, well, I don't keep it that but, clean. Uh, but sometimes when the the drams hit me, I'll just say stuff that just comes to my head. But hey. I mean, we'll say we'll I'm say sorry. we'll say the dam and the hells, but we won't say you know we won't say a lot of others. We'll do a lot of innuendo, <laughs> yeah. lots of innuendo. The last the last video we put out was a little innuendo. Heavy. And yes, Woodford Dry will work. <laughs> yes, we have that back here. Speaking of which, uh, the last the the uh, Wiser's eighteen year old video that you guys put out. My yeah. wife was watching. She was sitting beside me at the time, and she's just like shaking her head the entire time you guys are talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> of course she was. She's like, "Your head, you, you know what? Get that balloon down. Come on." The helium, the helium she's trying to reel down. me back, but between you guys and the sky says dummies, <laughs> she, she was like, "This is ridiculous." <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Well, it's true, and I, I don't. I got a. We got a comment on. Um, on that video from the Scotch Test Dummies saying that they were upset because my wife said that you're her favorite. And I said, <laughs> it's, I, I told, I said, it's the beard. I said, he's got the beard. She, you know, that's, I have a beard, you know. Back to it, the Stag Jr. Sorry, dude. Not <laughs> you, but. but I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the STDs to grow beards. Yeah. Well, I want to, I want to kind of talk about that a little bit because you guys sent me this amazing beard oil, beard wax, and beard uh, cream. Bomb. So, are you guys selling that? How's that work? Uh, we have we we don't have it up on a on a store per se. Um, we, right now we've kind of just been sending it to people that you know show interest in us and and people. Guys, that we send. Out there, if you can if you can get a hold of these guys, go buy some of this because like chicks just flock to you when you're wearing it well it smells really good and it does I, we've had people we've had people say that it smells like tequila which which it kind of has like a, a citrusy scent to it it's, it's you it's asked her if it was making her feel a little tipsy yeah 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 we we, we do both use it so like we, i use it every day yeah shampoo condition beard balm and beard yeah, oil well, same thing i've been using it and actually like this is my this is the the beard I'm I've been most happy with. I gotta say, yeah, awesome. Our, you look good, brother. You our, look good, almost as good as me. Almost, <laughs> not quite. I'm I'm getting there. I'm, my goal is to be like you one day. There, there's a debate on that. I'm, <laughs> I'm it, it's the way out of my favor. <laughs> I I uh, our our great buddy Ryan McGarrow, um, he him and his family run an apiary, and we've talked about it a hundred times on the show, so I won't go too much into it, but. He real they they've really been awesome. They made the sign for us. They made the lamp. They um, well hit the beard and then made the lamp. Um, yeah, it's real nice. And, and got, then it's they, got the rye grains on the side. Do you see the rye grains? I do see the rye grains. That's, That's a nice weird, isn't it? Is that right? Right. So, so then um, they they make all that stuff through their apiary, and they were like, "Hey, we can throw. We can take your picture and make it make it your own. Um, you guys are both bearded guys, so." It was just natural progression how that happened, and they're just awesome people. So Ryan, Brandy, Enzo, Mila, <laughs> Mila, Aria, Aria, we just hi love you guys. Yeah, we love you guys. <laughs> and uh, okay. my, wife, my wife got this made for me. One of my buddies, he he's really artistic, so he he made the symbol whiskey in the six with the whiskey inside. His name's Mike. He's been on a couple of my videos. Uh, so he helped her get this made for me in the background, the little picture there. I'm going to order one of your hats. I love your hats. I, cool. I told you what I wanted. I want gray, black <laughs> gray six. With black six. six. I thought, you know yeah. what? I remember that because. Three quarters. 
What's the what's the size again? Sorry. Seven seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. You got it. And, Nor and Norway was watching. Hi Fred. Hi Fred. Sorry, saw Norway was watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually uh, I have an announcement. We have a, a guy in Bridgeport, Virginia, who does uh, cartoonists, and he's a buddy of mine. He's doing a cartoon of Bubba and I. Yeah. So that picture that's on all of our stuff, he's doing a cartoon version of it. That's and, cool. Uh, we we hope to have shirts and hats available here soon. So you guys should like get a little skit going, like a little cartoon skit for the first. Yeah. It'll be Bubba kicking me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I love your hat because it 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 reminds me of the the P. I'm I'm a big obviously a big Pirates fan, Penguins fan, but nothing like a black hat with a gold P. So the black hat with a white six looks really nice too. I really like it. Yeah, I can get it in gold six if you like. That would be sweet. That would be cool. That would be cool. I, I, said, I, I changed my mind. I want to finish it. <laughs> Black and gold. Right. Yeah, or even I like that not for you guys. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, no problem. You guys got the George Stag there? Or, yeah. I mean, the, yeah. yeah. Stag Jr. Stag Jr. Stag Jr., sorry, yeah. Yep. So with the Stag Jr., I don't get as much of the hot notes on the nose. I get more um, creamy, cream, vanilla, yeah. creamy vanilla wafer. It's like a softer caramel. Um, the, then the, the the ECBP like punches you in the in the not as bitey. Yeah, yeah I like think the creamy vanilla wafer. Now that you mention it, the or psychology like, of whiskey. Like those, you know. I know you said vanilla wafer, but what were those like waffle ones with the? I had the waffle with the vanilla cream. Yeah, those are vanilla wafer. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was thinking because you get wafer. with strawberry and chocolate. Oh, you yeah, get yeah. all those ones. You get yep. the, they have horrible chemicals in them, so don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're really not good for you, but they do taste delicious. But they're absolutely oh, delicious. <laughs> malted said penguins suck. Come on, man. You know what, though? Malted, you know, I don't know, man. Like, seriously. Well, he dials up that hate real hard, man. Yeah, I mean, really. <laughs> penguins suck, man. Really. Hey, how many Stanley Cups do you got? Ooh. He went there. He went there, Swami. Oh, I'm going to go. That was the fighting words. All right, we're done with that, though. Hey, <laughs> see you Sunday night there, uh, Nashville. <laughs> Did you see Sidney Crosby punching Subban? I saw that. He was going at him. I was actually a little shocked. That didn't. That wasn't quite Crosby-esque, in my opinion. Every Penguins, which, well, the thing about it, Subban has been punching him in the face every game, not getting any penalty. Punch him in the face. Just. Subban just always punched Crosby in the face and never got a penalty. My wife thought you were handsome gents. Is that is that all of us or is that just six? <laughs> yeah, you're handsome gents. I think she met. We all know. Okay, we know six is a handsome guy. I hey, have a bromance. She said you guys. She didn't just say six. Let's, let's get real here. <laughs> hey, listen, six. I'm going to be up in Buffalo. You're away. We're going to get together. I just was at the library. I went and saw Huck Finn, uh, the original manuscript for Huck Finn up in the Buffalo uh, Public Library. It's pretty awesome. Well, that's pretty cool. Lindsay. That's pretty damn cool, actually. As a, as a previously an English teacher, grade 12 English teacher, I really like that. Oh, yeah. I'm a, hu I'm a huge Mark Twain fan. Samuel Clemens is the man. That's awesome. He's the greatest awesome. player in the league, he says. Uh, yeah, well, your team's playing golf, so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know. Oh, we love you, Malton. We love you, Swami. It's okay. Love is a strong word. <laughs> hey, uh, fun, fun Johnny, um, the beard will be at Labor Day. He asked. He said you need to make Even it. Even Mel hates Crosby, though. I'm shocked. Oh, yeah, Labor Day. I wasn't able to make Memorial Day because I was down eating about 35 Freaking like uh, Maryland blue crab. I don't know. Hey, uh, do a thumbs up if you like Maryland blue crab on this video right here on this live video. If you like Maryland blue crab, I was rock and roll. My uh, cousin graduated high school this year, so I was not able to make uh, the Memorial Day party at Bubba's, but I will be there at the Labor Day. Bubba's family does a big party. You guys a party. Play a set or something on your channel because I, I think that would be great. People would love that. For what now? Music in general. I thought, oh, I yeah, thought yeah. that's what we are talking about. <laughs> yeah. No, we weren't, but it's still – we like music as well. No, well, your cousin, you were saying – because I remember you telling me your cousin was in a band or, or something like that. Oh, no, that, that's that's my best friend. Uh, oh, Joey, 
Joey Solak, Joey he, does, Solak he does yeah. the end of our uh, every one of our videos. He, he's, he's got the riff. He's got the snare drum and the hi hat and the cymbal right at the end. He does the little jazz thing. With Get the, a hold of him, yeah. six for your for your. Yeah. Uh, your <laughs> ditty. Yeah. Send him my way because you already sent me the, the, ban the banjo ditty. That that thing is great. Don't I you do it, it. Like, banjo. <laughs> That's a ukulele. Uh, Ukulele, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare, he says. <laughs> go get it, please. Go get it. Do you have it with you? Got it right there. Yes, sir. I should know better because in English college, I was in a band, and half of the band learned how to play the ukulele. <laughs> Is that the, that's the ditty you just did for you? That's his ditty. <laughs> that's good stuff right there. That's oh, do you want to play our ditty? Or I, I don't want to leave us out. Yeah, play it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I edit our videos. So Stag I Jr. <laughs> I edit, I edit, I, yeah, we're getting off track. I yeah, edit our videos. The beauty of live is that we can't edit this at all. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no editing whatsoever. Who needs editing? <laughs> Play raining blood. <laughs> Play <laughs> all day. <laughs> oh, here I can. I, I can do it. I can do. You can do raining blood, can't you? No. <laughs> Hey, hey. Off. Cheers. Love it. That's beautiful. I'm gonna taste this. Yeah. So the oh, we've been drinking it, Rob. I, I, I love this it. you guys, so I, the I palate of milk it a bit. The, the palate of Elijah or of Stag Jr. really mimics Elijah Craig a lot, I think. No Elijah <laughs> Mel will stop it. Yeah, that's how I went like this. Wow. Elijah Craig, um, I like the punch in the mouth feeling. I, I like that. That's probably why I justify giving it a 96. The stag, in my opinion, is actually a little vel more velvety. I think it does punch you though. It's yeah, not. Yeah. It's not that. It's not that proof. Like it's, it's got that some punch proof. though. It definitely has it some does. punch. Yeah, it's in the mouth and the throat. Maybe not the chest as much as the. That's the thing about the Elijah Craig. Gets that 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 heat in the chest and the throat and mouth, but. I don't know. Something about the Stag Jr., which is funny, and the irony that we were talking about earlier is that he's a Buffalo Trace head, and I'm a Heaven Hill head, but I gave uh, Stag Jr. Yeah. a higher, or the Buffalo uh, Trace. We, yeah. we, have a hard, we have a hard time talking about ECBP without talking about Stag Jr., without talking about Bookers, without talking about you know all those unfiltered barrel proofs. Jack Daniels' barrel proof. Jack Daniels' barrel proof is amazing. Yeah, if you can get that. You, oh, yeah. Oh, I thought he was bringing that up. Yeah, single oh, barrel. No, no, no. I, I, well, I'm going to get the Jack da – well, if I can get the Jack Daniels barrel proof, I will. But this four rows, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I can't talk enough about it. It's, it's really good. Yeah, four rows. Um, how, do you know how old the Stag Jr. is? I'm assuming it's younger than the George Stag. I did review the George Stag earlier. In, the George uh, is 15, isn't it? It's Yeah, I heard it's around 14, 15 years old, yeah. Um, so a little older than the uh, ECB. I want to say I heard 10. I feel like 12 years old is the ideal age for a bourbon. I, I feel like I would, too much older than that, and it gets very oaky, and too much younger than that, and it burns your face off. Yep. No, I, I'm right there with you with that. I don't, I've don't. i not had anything older on the bourbon other than, like, I haven't had a lot of old bourbon. Like old rye, I had a lot of old rye. Yeah. Um, base, uh, Mel says Jack Daniels is unbelievable, and we agree. The, the it's Jack, really good. That barrel proof is. We were totally blown away yeah. um, by the Jack yeah. Daniels bourbon. Where's that? Where's that? Or the decanter. brown barrel proof. Where's the decanter? The big one right there. It's in the middle. You guys see any questions at all on, in the comment section? Yeah. Do any, does anybody have any questions? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So this Tom was, R, I agree with you there on blowing you away. That yep. This was gifted to me. It is a Jack Daniels uh, mystery of the hell 
<laughs> the Bell of Lincoln. The mystery of the Bell of Lincoln bottle. This is bottle number eight, decanter. It was uh, gifted to me by my cousin's husband's mom. I know that's a lot Brother, of sister's dogs. Brother, sister's dogs, cat. Um, but uh, no, it is a beautiful bottle. Uh, we're going to start an infinity bottle of uh, our, our higher proof rise with this. Only higher proof rise. So it might higher take proof rise or Burmans? Rye. Yeah. It's going to be rye. Well, maybe. It's a Jack Daniels. Well, Jack Daniels had rye. I guess so. Well, you Jack Daniels. Did, did you guys, um, maybe, do you guys have your uh, other infinity bottle around? Yeah, they're upstairs, but we can get them for sure. I think the beard already took off to the go beer, do that. The, beer, the beard's like, I'll go get them. <laughs> <laughs> so in the meantime, should we pour the um, the McAllen that you guys have over there? Mm -hmm. So you you sent us the McAllen 12 Double Oak. Yeah. And we sent you – well, you sent us a number of things, by the way. Thank you. No um, problem. That's my pleasure. I know we sent you the beard stuff, the stag, and the ECBP. That's right. Yeah. Um, Two things that, that are almost impossible for me to get unless I want to spend an arm in the lake. So I really appreciate that. Well, and, and, and I can get them. I've seen the McAllen 12, obviously, pretty much everywhere. But the double, I've never seen the double cast anywhere around okay. here. So Really? And that's the newest release, so I'm surprised. I have not seen it anywhere. Okay. I just want to... Quickly uh, point this one out. If you guys like 100% rye, I've been tasting this one periodically. It's it's um, a new distillery in Niagara, or newish anyway. It's called Dylan's Distillery. Uh, this one is their second, I think, rye release, and it's aged in New Ontario oak, New American oak, and first of all, uh, bourbon. It's fantastic stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be reviewing it shortly, but really, really, really good stuff. I'm sorry, Rob. I did. I, I was um, not totally listening to what you were saying. Is that a hundred percent rye? It's one hundred percent rye. Yeah, and it's okay. I was kind of more directing that to uh, the audience. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was too busy. Pour Apparently, I can't pour and listen at the same time. I'm terrible. Well, we were we were chatting about it earlier, so I, I had to <laughs> you about it. Yeah, hundred percent rye. We, we're big fans of. Yeah, the higher rye, the better. So this is the McAllen uh, that we're focusing on tonight. Um, I, I sent these guys a dram of it. Um, they will, I think, be doing a review, or you said you already did the review of it. Well, you sent us this awesome sample. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to not drink all of this tonight. So we can and review we're, it. We're going to try to do a full review. So really, um, we'd love it if you gave us the rundown on this, like right now, like, but before you do, I want to give a shout out because I started with that infinity bottle. I just want to say thank you, Joyce, for the bottle. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Robin. Hi, Lucas. Yeah. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, we're at about 22. It looks like we've kind of stabilized it around that. So it looks like that's what we'll be at for the next little while. That's, that's pretty good for a first first live show. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um, so this is – Two types of casks, European sherry and uh, American sherry. So both of them are, are previously, they previously contained sherry um, wine inside. All right, uh, no bourbon. The fine oak is three types of casks and that's one of the, the fine oak series is the only one that McAllen uses bourbon barrels for. So the double doesn't have it. The one that you were referring to earlier, Bubba, is the um, the straight uh, European oak sherry. Gotcha. I, and the color, the color is pretty beautiful. Oh, that's not even my. Yeah, that's my cleaner. I yeah, have two it's natural going. color. It's one hundred percent natural color. Yeah. It's very it's, fruity. Uh, very fruity on the nose. I get like floral, sweet. Like yeah, powder, get, like powder. some tangerine with this one. Yeah, I get it. I get. I get some citrus. I get some um, like number two pencil shavings. Actually, it does um, remind me of the Bocalta. I think the Bocalta though was it it's had less, so less peaty. Yeah, it was less peaty, but it had had so much more fruit going on. It had like mango. And, oh yeah, that's right. You remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Bacalta is is uh, aged in different kinds of wine barrels. It's um, Madeira cast from Portugal. 
Yeah. These ones are okay. um, Sherry Head, uh, Sherry Casks from Jerez, Spain. Mm. Is it wrong that I get number two pencil shavings out of a, a lot of scotches? And, and that's not an, a bad. You're picking up. You're picking up the oak. the The oak is just a, a different. Um, European oak is slightly different than American oak. So yeah. in a bourbon, you'll get those charcoal type um, oaky flavors. Whereas with with the scotch, it's still charred. The barrels are still charred, but it gives you a, more of a, a lesser, right? You know, burn. Mm. Smells great. So, and I think what a lot of people refer to, what you're referring to as pencil shavings, a lot of people refer to as like a tobacco type taste. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I, I get a like a golden raisin, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit. I, yeah, just like raisins in general. Yeah. yeah. Like when you open that, when you open up that container of raisins and just get that smell of like. Yep. I'm going to taste. Yeah, go for it. Oh. Wet thy gums. Wet thy gums. Bronco, Bronco is saying that I'm busting out the knowledge. That, that's all I got, buddy. <laughs> no, you got more than that. Your scotch knowledge is huge. That's extremely – Um, yeah, we, we learn a lot from watching other reviewers in, in the fabric, especially about scotch. Um, yourself – Malted, this dummies, of course. Um, uh, Mark, uh, whiskey whistle, um, whiskey bitch was another one that we we kind of started on early. Um, Which you know, she was a, another reason why we got started in this game. Yep. I don't know if you guys uh, have had a chance to talk to um, uh, Narvi and Mike from Malt Reviews. Have you ever watched any of their their? I've, uh, I've, I've watched a few reviews, yes, but I've never we've never saw. Super, talked super cool guys, really really nice guys. Um, they uh, they review a top tier scotch, like they've reviewed some of the best of the best. So they're actually a really good one to have a look at because they know their stuff. They buy premium stuff, and like nothing nothing teaches you more about the whiskey game than experience. You can listen to people yeah. talk about it all you want, but. Oh, yeah. You guys, your, your bourbon experience is ridiculous compared to mine. Like, I have half the bourbon experience, if that. If I'm lucky, half. And our rye experience is a little bit more in-depth, but you're right. Like, it, anything yeah. anything else you practice, if you practice doing something over and over again, it's like shooting a basketball, if you, like we were right. talking about in one of our earlier reviews. You know, if you taste enough whiskey, like we, we want to try all the whiskey. We want to, like, be able to taste it all and figure out yeah. – you know, and be like the Fred Nose of the world or the Elmer T. Lees of the world who were able to, like, you know, taste stuff yeah. and be able to, like, or, or Dave Pickerel, like, that guy's cheap. Get your yeah. whistle through. Well, and, and, and I don't want, uh, I don't like it when people try to come off like they know it all. So we're very careful not to be that way. We're, we're, especially when we do like a Scotch review, we usually always say, like, look, we're at the, very beginning of our scotch journey so this is two guys that are tr you know trying to learn as much about scotch as possible we're, we're good we're not good on, we're always learning with bourbon and rye of course oh we're but we're experts <laughs> <laughs> but but you know we have a we have a, a very good base to come from with the bourbon and rye whereas the scotch we're building our base and we yeah. make sure we tell people that because a lot of people are in that zone they want to get into scotch and there's but, so much. But there's so much to choose from. And, so we in all genres, there's yeah. so much rye, there's so much bourbon, there's so much scotch. You know, even the bottom shelf one, like that Heaven Hill and uh, you know, even the uh um Evan Williams, like some of these bottom ones, I mean they're not great, but they're pretty good. I mean, if you just as long as you try them, I mean it's a few I don't like to down any whiskey, you know, I'll put it down. But. The the McAllen, this double cask, um if I was gonna say one thing about the palate, it's a very smooth. Yeah, that was super smooth. Like it's a little too easy to drink, right? Like a little. Yeah. This, this is the kind of whiskey that I always say can get you into trouble. It can, <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it can we're, really. We're get not you. there yet. We need more. We need more people in the chat room to be able to. We'll <laughs> yeah. get in trouble. Well, it can really get you into trouble because it 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 sticks around, but not not like some higher end stuff. 
So, you know, you take a sip and then you immediately want to take another sip and then you want to take another sip and it doesn't burn at all. So, yeah, the, the, the McAllen double cask would definitely. And we don't have a whole bottle of this, so we need to put it away because I would really like another dram. <laughs> yeah, that's. Let me get that. We, yeah. I'm just going to hide that from us. I wanted a little bit more. I do too, but we have to review it. <laughs> All right, we'll have a little. You you know like what? We'll, have, we'll have enough to review it, and we've tasted it, so we can do a little bit more. How about this? I should have sent you two per. That's what I should have done. <laughs> well, you said I wanted to get you guys just, uh, like a like a bunch of them, and and yeah. You no, said no, us, you, you sent plenty. You're fine. Just, just so your viewers know, uh, Rob is a very generous man. He sent us. Like a, a lot, ha of half bottle of JP Wiser. He may not have. This, this could be a Donald Trump of you. <laughs> Big news. Uh, <laughs> sent, us, sent us like two half bottles of stuff and then a bunch of samples. I mean, like five different samples. I mean, just excellent. Yeah, excellent. it was it was great. We tried to send him a, a good amount of the ECBP and the stag because he was like, well, I got this, 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 and this. I'll send you. And we're like, well, you want. You we need want, to reciprocate. You we're just like, want a lot properly. of them. A lot of these people. Guys, honestly, and I like I'm 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 happy hearing that because I felt like I didn't do enough. Like that, oh, you sent me that. Oh, beer okay, well, that's the case. Hold on a second. That's the case. Um, yeah, you're right. Come on. <laughs> no, you're good, Rob. You're good. Yeah, we were very very. When we got the box, we were like, "Look at this." He just sent us like very bottles of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks. Like a whole bottle. I yeah. appreciate hearing that, guys. Thank you very much. But um. Yeah, so you guys like the the McAllen? You guys are gonna review it? So I think I gave. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what I gave it in case. Yeah, you yeah. Did. Don't you dare do that because that's what you did. Like, like I tell you when I when I comment on your videos, they're like, okay, I can't watch this. <laughs> yeah. Bubba and I just wait. Just watch until like the six minute mark, and then you can shut it off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, that's good. Um, I'll well, always watch your ads though, Rob. Like that's everybody that I like. I'll watch your ad, your whole ad. You know, so I, don't, I don't do any skipping of an ad. You know, like, yeah, hey, I know, I know where it's help? I don't even. Does that actually help? Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah, it does help. Yeah, you got to watch the whole ad. It does help. Yeah. The, um, don't skip the ad. Do not skip the ad. Interesting. I had yeah. no idea. I mean, did you get any? Did you get, any, did you get any grapefruit on the McAllen double? Yeah, like I there's got, definitely there's definitely some uh, type of citrus note. I. I pick up like a tangerine, but I can definitely see why that look that tastes like a grapefruit, um, because it does have that bitter, like the bitter that is associated with some oaky type whiskey, right? So, uh, just so you know, six uh, Tom R says these these three guys are the new ambassadors for drinking whiskey. <laughs> yeah, can we do it? Can we do a cheers to Tom R? Hey, Tom R and Mark Cano. I, I I kept putting G because the G is right next to the H. So if you see like the comment, like I don't know, but <laughs> hey, thank you, Mark G. And I tried to correct it and put Mark H. Yeah, Mark G came up again. <laughs> Mark G. <laughs> I need something in my glass. I'm gonna get in the video of uh, Rob. Oh, is, is that right? Well, actually, yeah, we, we have at least one more. We're we're gonna hit right. Rob, but at least yeah, the solo, right? You got the Cavalon. But do you want it? Do you want us to? You asked us about our Infinity bottles. Do you want to cover those quick? Yeah, yeah. Talk about the Infinity bottles. Tell so like, the, a lot of people. Like I didn't even know what an Infinity bottle is. So please explain. So what let me Infinity bottles let me do, let me kind of describe what I did. Um, I have two younger uh, kids now. These are Bub and the Beard Infinity bottles, but the Beard was not available when I started them. Um, so what I did is I. I read a couple things about infinity bottles and one of the things that you're kind of supposed to do is include your kids on making them because it teaches them about alcohol. Um, you, you taught to respect alcohol. Um, and, and so what I did is I, I have a uh, 11 year old and uh, soon to be 12 and an eight year old. And what we did is I had them make a list of all of the bourbons and whiskeys that I added to the or bourbons and rice that I added to these bottles. Um, and I told them every whiskey that we're going to put in here eventually when you get to be of age, 21, 22, 23 years old, you know, one of you will get one bottle, one of you will get the other, and you'll be able to carry on this infinity bottle and keep it going basically forever. So uh, we have a lot more bourbons on set than we do the rise. So there's about 60 different bourbons in our bourbon infinity, wow. uh, about half ounce each, give or take. 
Um, and it's actually very, very good. It, it it's really, really tastes. Yeah. And then we, we were actually a little short on the rise. We only had about 30 rise, 28, 30 rise. Don't worry. We're going to get that Irish whiskey infinity bottle too. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we, we felt right now, uh, we're, we're, we're at a point where we know bourbon and rye, we feel comfortable with it, so we're going to make those infinity bottles. Uh, the next one's probably either going to be an Irish or a Scotch. And probably a Scotch next. Probably a we've Scotch. We've got some Scotches. We've got you know, quite yeah. a bit of Scotches to be able to put in. So the, the, the thought is, is so I said that was, it was a fun night. It was two hours with my boys. We got all the bottles on the table. I explained to them about alcohol, about how you can you know taste alcohol and not need to get – ridiculous and not need to you know and kind of taught him a little bit about alcohol and said when you guys get of age you'll remember doing this and one of you will get this one and one of you will get this one so nice. uh, it was a it was a really neat experience so yeah no that's I, I, uh, when I after you told me about that i'm like i kind of have something similar in this uh little toronto maple leaf decanter i have going here um yep. Fun, basically yeah. I, I had to plug my buds um <laughs> Basically, what I did with this one is, it's, and after thinking about what to call it, it's basically a world whiskey infinity bottle because I have scotch, bourbon, I have a little bit of Irish whiskey in there, and I have a whole bunch of Canadian whiskey in there too. Uh, there's probably about 700 milliliters of uh, Canadian Club 100% rye in there. And then what, what happened was I poured it into a small barrel that if you've watched some of my previous videos, you've seen it on set. You guys got to say something so they can see that. Yeah, you got, uh, that that's a what 1975 bottle of Canadian Club. Yeah, wow. 1975. Here, take it out of the box. And go. That's crazy. Is it open no. or unopened? Yeah, 1975. Beautiful. Yeah, we, we're gonna review this. Uh, Probably in the next two months. Yeah. All right. Let me know when I'll drive down to uh, Pennsylvania. And <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. We'll you're you're more something. than welcome. I think it'd be great. If you want to come and review this with us, you're only like three hours away from to, us. To be honest, Toronto, I, I've, I, you know, we, we go to Buffalo quite a bit. I was just there um, the last two weekends. Yeah, yeah, Buffalo. I mean, you're only, what, an hour from Buffalo? Yep. About that. So, so you're you're less than three hours away from us. Wow. Okay, so you know what? Maybe I will actually exactly grab that one. With that that sound was. Yeah. Yeah, right. you awesome. come and join us on set. That would be Oh, amazing. you're more than welcome. That would be crazy. And uh, inv invitation yeah, out there. The invitation I is open. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That would be awesome. I would really enjoy I got, that. I got a huge sectional couch that the uh, the beard uh, takes, takes up uh, quite often. <laughs> well, especially nights like tonight. Yeah, I don't drive. The good news is I have a police check every year done because I'm a teacher, so you can yep. trust me. I have, to, <laughs> I, uh, I have to do it for my coaching, so we have to go through the whole thing, you know. Me, yeah. not so much. <laughs> the, beard, the beard's not even on the map. I'm not even on the map. You can see me from space. Good for you, buddy. I, got, I actually, tomorrow, hopefully we don't get too inebriate, inebriated. I can't even say the word, so I'm already uh, – <laughs> um, because I got to teach some kickboxing tomorrow morning. Nice, <laughs> right and early. So. Oh, oh, you're not going to get up because we're about ready to – as soon as we get off this and get out of this chat, we're going to be drinking a little bit more. Don't even talk about now, – now he's a kick – so – I knew that. <laughs> now he's a kickboxing yeah, instructor. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want to do. I want to take the lesson from him. I, hi, 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 my wife's crying. Honestly, be like, it would, I think we should do a whiskey reviewer class where we record the actual class that I'm teaching and you guys all come. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> I would do it. Yeah, yeah everybody. It was Scott and Bart showing their, their kung fu moves. And <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be cool. That would be awesome. What are we drinking? We. Yeah. we we, we just poured. Uh, we just the poured cattle. the Solus. Yeah. The, All right. Um, so a little bit about the Solus for those who don't know. Um, this is a Taiwanese whiskey, and because of their subtropical climate, they tend to only age their whiskey for well three to seven years tops. Um, so all this Solus series is around seven years, or sorry, a little younger than seven years old. I believe this one is just over five years old, the one that I sent you guys. 
Comes in that nice uh, fancy leather case. This is what the bottle looks like. All right, this one is bottled at 57.8%. I'll let you guys do the math for proofing. I, I gotta ask you, what um, what did you pay for that bottle? I I did this in a, I, I um, these go for about 200 bucks Canadian, maybe around the same actually American because they're they're pretty sought after in the states. Um, wow, it's it it smell. The reason I asked is because we hadn't opened it at all before. So it's pretty strong smelling, right? Well, okay. So uh, I actually got this in a trade. I had the George Stag, and because I already reviewed it, I traded this um, this Johnny Walker Double Black and a bottle of Lagavulin 16 year old plus a mini for my George T. Stag. So, oh, wow, that's, that was a good trade. It was a decent trade. Yeah, I think I did all right. And then yeah. recently, well, because the double black's ready, readily available. I see that quite, quite often. Wow, yeah. the nose on that in is the very. US it is, but over crazy. here it's not available at all. Really? Yeah, it's not. Well, it's I, not a Canadian uh, expression. Plums. plums and cherries. So, I get plums, cherries. Yeah, like. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. This is um, yeah. this is one of the higher end versions of the Cavalan Solis. This is the Montelado. I probably butchered that name, but it's a type of sherry amontillado. This is what the bottle looks like. I, I, I made a trade with uh, Larry from Cavafan. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Larry. Are you guys familiar with Larry? No. Uh -huh. So he runs Cavafan, which is on Facebook. You guys should join the group. He's a super cool guy. He, uh, he also sent me this little set which i think if i'm not mistaken they only made about 150 of these it's a com it's the three most expensive cavalan solists it's the wow. px the manzanilla and the montelato which i just showed you guys um basically the the entire all three of them together probably would cost about 650 dollars american Wow! Wow! Yeah. That's, that, so that is so this, this little this set looks, probably costs about one hundred and fifty American, and then that bottle costs about five hundred. Hey, so you got to know somebody? <laughs> actually, oh, you want, actually, you I, traded, I traded my Van Winkle twelve and a whiskey in the six hat. Oh, that that's cool. That, that's I saw that that trade. I think you did that on the one of our group chats, and that was that was cool. I think that trade was good. Yeah. I, as far as Van Winkle goes, I would taste it for one dram, but I would never buy a bottle of that. I think their marketing is real good over there, BFT, but come on now. The thing is about that is from where he is, he probably never sees that kind of stuff. So he could probably fetch a, <clears throat> a small fortune for that bottle of the Van well, Winkle. Oh. On the secondary market, good point, yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking that that's why he did the trade, to be honest with you, because over here, that stuff is impossible to come by. And in the States, they just released this notice that they're going to be selling it for about 500 American, like I just said. So, yeah, but I was not much for secondary market stuff. Like, that, we have a 1975 bottle of Canadian Club. We're going to drink that. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's That's, like, you get it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not, we're in, not looking at a secondary market. Yeah. It, we're, probably, it could be good. We're not collectors. We're, 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 we're drinkers and, and sharers. Yeah, if that's yeah. like we gotta I, try this. You know what, guys? I I totally agree. The only reason I ended up trading that Van Winkle twelve and the George T. Stag is because I've already had the opportunity to review those. Yeah. And oh I no, yeah, that's find different. more things for the channel. To be honest, yeah, with we you. would we would do that too as well. We would do that as well. We would like you know if we had I'd already tasted something like yeah, it's totally true. Like what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, I mean, I mean like as like for example, your your Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. You could probably trade that you know up north and get. A, a really good bottle of scotch and you paid a lot less for your bottle than bottle yeah i'll this. never do that i'll never try <laughs> I, I have two unopened bottles and i'll never do that yeah we, right? we've got another unopened bottle right there <laughs> so but between bob and i we have three unopened bottles i have two open bottles so there's one two three four five six seven of those bottles that bob between bob and i this um this solist. I was loving this nose. I could tell. You could just see my. I can't stop smelling it. I, I every time I smell it, I get something new. Yep. 
I get um like dark dark cherry. I get like plum. a compote, the cherry compote. If you ever like um, cook cherries on low with in some sugar on yeah, a pan, like, like, like a syrupy cherry. Yeah, I got a um. I even got at one point I got coffee grounds. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and what's crazy is that this is five years old. This is just That's over five crazy. years old. Wow. Um. Yeah, I can get into this. This is this is this smells great. I tasted it already, and the taste is there too. So I out. haven't tasted it. I've I've just been trying to because I I literally peeled like six or seven things out. Um, I do get a little bit of the scotchy uh, black licorice and yeah, it's a single malt. It's a single malt, so you're definitely gonna pick up similarities to a scotch. Yep, and it's aged yeah. in Oloroso sherry. Yep. Yeah, it's, it smells and tastes wonderful. I'm going to uh, finally taste Wonder it. Wonderbar, as the Germans say. <laughs> this is, uh, honestly, I really, really like this stuff. And actually, time does this one well because when you first open the bottle, it's very, very sherry, so that kind of punches you in the face. But as you wait a little bit, it kind of simmers down a bit and opens up quite a bit. Actually, Jeremy just joined us. He's the one that traded this ball, so thank you, Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy. We appreciate this. Uh, I get very good um, I get fig, like fresh, like the, the figs you – Figgy pudding. Uh, yeah. figgy. Like dates and figs. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know why, but I got like a a southern sweet tea. Yeah. Um, a little bit on the, on the oh. palate, not on, not on the nose, on the palate. I even like – it sounds weird, but I even pick up like a, a hint of like a curry smell a little bit. Yep, I get a. I like your attitude, doctor. <laughs> what I you like your attitude. What did he say? I like I like your style. What did he say? He says, uh, "What else we bringing out?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and capital O U T. What else should we bring out, doctor? What else should we bring out? It's it's ultimately up to six because it's his uh, show. But we we, we told him to do a rye with we him. we told him that uh, we have no curfew. So as long as you guys stick around, we're good. Yeah, yeah we're, I mean, we're, uh, we're, we're we're just over an hour and ten minutes now. Um, I mean, I don't mind going a little bit longer. So if you guys are cool with that, just give us. Hey, a this, is your show. this is your show, six. But we'll take control. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with that too. I don't, I don't care. I'm complacent. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, we went to do a rye with you. Um, Bob and I can do our infinity rye, and you can just pick a rye that you. Well, how about you pick your favorite rye that you have on your uh, mantle? Unfortunately, well, I'm not gonna say my favorite rye is with you guys right now. Actually, uh, it's the uh, lot forty. That's my uh, favorite. Yeah, we, have, we have your last uh, well, droplets of why your. Don't, uh, why don't we just do the lot forty? And then you'll get to see our, our, you know, our, our, our reaction. You can live vicariously through us. Yeah, you 100%. Want to, it, it, we can do that. I have a, I have a 100% rye here that's also very good. I had poured it out earlier. It's this Dylan's that I talked about. Um, so we can talk about that a little bit. The Dylan's is very, very good stuff. I don't want to downgrade this at all. It's 100% really, really nice stuff. Um, it's 100% rye, so we dig it. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited for this lot 40 because um, I've heard, I've read good things. I've heard good things. And when you said you were going to send it to us, I was like, cool. Uh, that yeah. Would be great. They're actually coming out with a barrel proof um, this fall. So it's going to be, or cast strength anyway, not barrel proof. But um, this, you, you wrote 43. So 80, 86 uh, proof. I think it's going to be around 57, 58, around there. Right, but the one you sent us is forty three. This one isn't. This one, it's not a. The, the one that I'm talking about hasn't been released yet. It's going to be released in the fall. Well, we we we're just looking at your words here. It says a uh, lot forty, one hundred percent rye at eighty six proof. Now, is this? Uh, do you, do you know? Right? Eighty six proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lot forty. Right. Do you know? Is this um? Is this like an Alberta sourced, or is this some? You know, is this some? This is okay. So, um. Corby Distilleries owns Lot 40. They own J.P. Weiser's. They own Pike Creek. It's basically the same company. Um, Weiser's kind of distributes their barrels to what goes to Lot 40, what goes to Pike Creek. Pike Creek is this one right here, and it's this one in particular is finished in rum barrels. 
It's super good. If you get a chance to pick it up, I highly recommend it. Um, I don't know if you guys had a chance to watch my interview with Spencer Gooderham. Gooderham is also one of the Corby uh, distilleries. It's a big umbrella distiller, kind of like uh, Zazerac, basically. Oh, yeah, Zaz the, the baby Zaz. It's, uh, I just had that the other night. It's delicious. Very yeah. good. I, w I want to shout out Tom R. Tom R. just said, uh, Bubba knows in the glass. The look on his face is from last night when Beard said, Liquor in the rear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dr. David, Dr. David thinks I should be the next James Bond. I was going more for like a um, Mission Impossible type thing. I was hoping. Yeah. Hey, Rob, if you're interested, I know some Hollywood people. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I'm I, Believe it or not, I'm actually not that good in front of the camera. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, you do, you do, uh, you we do got, great. We got JMZ5605-0607. Uh, that's one of our buddies. Uh, Zimmer, I just want to say, hey, buddy. Uh, he's uh, he's beginning his scotch journey as well. He's he's been here um, and hung out with us while we while we on filmed set. Uh, yeah. on set. So, so Zimmer, yeah. congratulations, by the way, hey. Mayor. <laughs> he's also running for the mayor of our town. And one. Wow, there you go. That that should get him some subscribers. Yeah, we we we're rooting for you, brother. Uh, so this lot forty, man, it is. Uh, I just I drank it because we already drank, tasted it once, so like it's really good. Ooh. Yeah. Um, no, I dig it. Nice stuff. It, it's got a like. I feel like it's got a nice like floral hit, but it's also got some of the things that because it's it's a uh, new new oak. I get I yeah get, that new oak barrels. Is, I get the dill. I get um. I actually get quite a bit of butterscotch on the nose butterscotch i also get uh um like uh, uh maybe a it? um it, it's a floral like herby herbaceous uh no lavender maybe maybe yeah, a little, yeah it's definitely. Like a hint, definitely hint of lavender maybe not like it's not like potent lavender but it's like a hint and the flavor itself is like very anise black licorice uh spicy of course with the rye notes you're gonna get that spiciness uh, yeah, one our one like anytime it says one hundred percent rye and it's on the shelf, Bob and I are gonna grab it. Yeah, yeah. We're, oh yeah, we're, we're, we're I, mean, I think we, we, we did, we've got we've we've two, done a, four six eight bottles right now of one hundred percent rye. We've done we've done a, a vodka just because it was one hundred percent rye vodka. Um, we're, we're rocks off. Yeah, rocks off. That would be great to put in a in an oak barrel and then one of those small oh, yeah. barrels. That's a yeah. good idea. Yeah, I never even thought of that. We might have to give that suggestion to the master distiller over there in Kane. It was it was funny how that the, the rye vodka did translate to like a rye whiskey. Like there were a lot of similar notes. A lot of notes, yeah. But you got a lot more. Uh, I think there was fruitier flavors with the vodka than there was. On hey, the Ryan. Ryan Summer says that he feels like a virgin for t uh, tuning into a live show of Whiskey in the Six. Well, we're all virgins tonight. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is this is Six's first live show, and and God bless him for choosing Bubba and the Beard to have yeah. him on this first. I love live you guys, show. man. I love you guys. Yeah, it's awesome, it's awesome. Bro. It's awesome. Can, it's great. can we just say like we were like when when we, this all came up, like we were like little like like. Tee he girls, so they were like, "Yeah, like with whiskey in the sixes first live show." And he's asking us to be on it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we'll be. A, <laughs> we'll pop his live show cherry. <laughs> <laughs> now your wife is your wife listening? She's like, "Oh, she is definitely man. listening." You know, <laughs> she's. Know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she's sleeping. She doesn't really uh, pay attention to what's going on with my life too much. <laughs> we love you too, Ryan. Here love you, Ryan. All right, I, I, I haven't tasted it. I did. I, I'm almost done with it. I want to have another dram. We have a lot. About to get, uh, we might have to go grab the lot 40 up in Buffalo. I, I, Jeremy says couple. that he can't wait till the, the cast strength comes out. I got to be honest. I can't wait. It's going to be yeah. amazing. Actually, I, I'm going to kind of plug um, my boy Spencer Gooderham's uh, Corby's Distilleries right now because Wiser's is coming out with a crazy bottle. It's going to be a 30-year-old. Um, the J the lot 40 is going to be a 14 year old cast strength. Pike's Creek is coming out with, I think a 21 year old. I could be wrong. And Gooderum's coming out with a 17 year old, but the Gooderum and the Pike's Creek might be reversed. I'm not hundred percent sure on age, but they're all coming out this 
fall. And that's going to be crazy for Canadian whiskey because for the longest time, Canadian whiskey has had a really bad rap. And I think this is going to put them back on the map. Yeah, the, the good room, and I know it switches to me and the beard's gone now. Uh, <laughs> just so everyone knows, the beard whispered in my ear and he goes, don't talk if you don't have to so the camera doesn't come to us because he had to pee. <laughs> he's like i gotta go he's like my eyes are floating i gotta go <laughs> so well, that's what, because you break the seal though yeah yeah he's like i can't hold it anymore don't talk <laughs> uh but you sent us to goodrum and warts as well um and we we have yet to do the review on that so we're pretty that excited good too. i think you guys will really like that one that wiser's 18 you know, I thought it was great. I, I just wish it was a little bit higher ABV. That was the yeah. only – I mean, I think it would benefit from that punch, you know. What's crazy about that Wiser's 18-year-old and, like, what I try to tell people, especially when they're just starting off whiskey, is this isn't, like, a rare opportunity to buy a 18-year-old whiskey for 60, 70 bucks Canadian. Like, that doesn't right. happen very often. No. No, I thought it was great. We – well, I mean, most people saw, I think most of these guys in the room anyway saw our review, so they know we enjoyed it. But uh, the, yeah. this this Lot 40 is um, super smooth. I, I, I get butterscotch on the palate. I love it. Yeah, it's good. That's why I want to go. I, I don't think we can get anywhere around here, but Buffalo might have it. It's not as sweet as some rye. Sometimes, I, like, uh, with 100% rye, like, Iowa Legendary rye is really sweet. Uh, Wood white dog is sweet. The, yeah, Wood over the eighteen month. The Wood yeah, like Crown Royal yeah. Northern Harvest is pretty sweet. My yeah. concern with like some of those, like the Crown Royal Northern Harvest, for example, is there's ten percent of that whiskey that's not disclosed, and it could be anything. It could be juice. It could be <laughs> it could be apple juice, cranberry juice. I think uh, one of my friends made a joke. It could be panther. It could be like, anything. But uh, my cousin, Fun Johnny, says bring six down for Labor Day. Uh, every Memorial Day and Labor Day, we rent out our local fairgrounds. And His we family. Just, my family does, and we camp out. And everybody gets together, and we basically just play yard games and, and drink whiskey and beer. Around for, a fire. Around a fire for, for like four days. An hour and, he, and a half of talking in front of Fun, Fun Johnny, and he already invited me to the yeah, he's like, He was like, drink like Johnny. He's good shit. <laughs> Come on down, man. You'll love it up here in the mountains of Pennsylvania. Oh, it's, pretty, it's pretty gorgeous here, man. You have no idea where we live. Yeah, it's, it it's is... amazing here. Although you live in a, you live in the city, but like you yeah, don't have to I drive mean, too far to get north to be up in the. In we the always mountains. we always joke. We live in an area where people vacation, so like all the Philly, we call them Flatlanders. All the all the Philly and Pittsburgh people all have camps up here. So well, if you think that's flat, when I when I was driving to Grove City. Um, Grove City, Pennsylvania. Grove City, PA. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, an hour away. Yeah, we're not that far. Okay, all right. So we we were driving to go shopping because it's tax free over there. And uh, Grove, City, Grove City Outlets. You went to Grove all. City Outlets. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I was just there the other day. The Nike Outlets. <laughs> all right. Yeah, there's also. <laughs> hey, uh, so, by the way, if Grove City Outlet Mall is watching right now. That'll be a ten percent of. Whatever you made this month. Uh, we want clothing. We want, we want, we want everything. Shoes. We want Timberlands. <laughs> beard supplies. That no, is, we don't need any beard supplies. We got that's enough. true. We got, we got Bubba and the Beard yeah. covering us for that. <laughs> that's right. So what were you saying about Grove City? So I actually found that it was kind of like hilly while we were driving. And yeah. I mean, we're, we're, I guess, we're a little bit higher in altitude, but we're, yeah, I don't know. It's not that hilly when you drive around here. It's all flat well, land. Our, our, our area, our county and the neighboring county is um, the only wild elk reserve. for. So, you know, we have, we have elk in our backyard, which is not typical on the East Coast. That's too, usually just a Colorado thing. That's pretty um, cool. But uh, the town that we're from is – it's a designation as we are the most remote town in Pennsylvania. The next closest borough or town is 17 miles away. So wow. we literally, ha literally have 17. At least the closest it, malls are an hour away, whichever direction you go. Yeah, the 17 mile radius around us is essentially woods. Woods. <laughs> wow, that's yeah, pretty we, cool. That's we're just out for the rip. <laughs> <laughs> 
I still have to check that one out. <laughs> so overall, what did you guys think of that Cavalon? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I if I was gonna rate it, I'd give that Scotch a ninety. Or yeah, it was really good. If I were to rate it, it'd be in the we're, we're gonna review it again. I might change it up to a we're 80, gonna, eighty-eight. We're gonna we're gonna take it <laughs> we're gonna take a little more time with it to give it a proper number, but for me it was in the nineties. Absolutely. Yeah. It was delicious. It probably will be again for me. Delicious. It good. Yeah. Good Scotch. It's good stuff. I mean like I said, it actually has improved as the bottle has gone down. Some bottles really benefit from being, like a lot of oxidization. Some bottles, not so much. But this one, I think, really benefited from it. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's delicious. Uh, Dr. Dave just said James Cupper, 70, 1776 Ride. There's a barrel proof version of that. Uh, just so you guys know, the dummy sent us a sample of that. They also sent us a sample of the Booker's Rye, and those are on the slate to be reviewed as well. There's the, the pepper, and the uh, – I don't need to show all four bottles. They all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> the dummies are very generous folk, man. They, I mean, honestly, yeah. I'm not going to lie. If it wasn't for the dummies, a lot of us wouldn't have gotten together, right? Because they right. brought us all together by putting us on their live shows. So well, like, that was awesome. Like we, were, like we were saying in the, in the beginning um, – in the beginning, when you search, like when we first started really getting into tasting whiskey, we would just go to YouTube and search the, whatever whiskey we were drinking. When we were 12. This was just the only one are available? Well, yeah. So, and, and always at the top of the list at the, at the time, this was a few years ago, you know, were Scotch Just Dummies or Whiskey Bitch or Ralphie or, you know, um, a couple others. Uh, 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 Whiskey Hunter? No. What's the Whiskey Scout? Maybe whiskey. Um, my boys, uh, the South Florida Pete lovers, actually, they were they were on. Yeah. Wow. So, but it was always the same guys would come up, you know. So we started what we kind of took to the dummies and whiskey bitch. Those were our first two. Two, yeah. That we, so those were the first two whiskey reviewers that we subscribed. And both times, Bubba said, "Hey, did you watch these guys? Hey, did you watch this girl? Yeah. She's really." He great. didn't watch any of them. I, I was like, I was like, you gotta watch these guys. They're I funny. Like, I was like, I love whiskey, but I don't like to watch people talking about it. And I said, just and do then it. I started watching people talking. I'm like, oh wait a minute. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, I like it. I like people's opinions of whiskey. It, yeah. It's important because a lot of people go to the liquor store, the local liquor store, and they waste a ton of money on shit that they don't need to be buying, you know? So uh, if it wasn't for people like us, they'd still be wasting money. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and so we started watching. That's kind of how, like he said, we were just sitting around a fire saying, let's do what the dummies do. Like, we could do that. Like, like they're funny, but we're handsome. We're, we're, we got beards. So <laughs> the beard is key. I think the beard yeah. is where. Yeah. But uh, that that was essentially what started it all. And then you know, whiskey bitch um, two has been very uh, nice to us. She she talks to us on Twitter a lot, um, and she wants to do a live sh or some sort of show at some point with us. So we're some sort of collaboration. With her. Super cool chick. I've watched a few of her videos. I've never contacted her. She actually got a tour at the Whistle Pig uh, yeah. Distillery, so she wow. she's uh, she's been with some really awesome big whiskey people. She's uh, she's top notch. We, wow. we we that was one of the videos that that got us interested in her was her her Whistle Pig visit, and then of course Rob came along, Mark came along. You know, we as we started diving deeper, you know. We were like, this whiskey. We went to the rabbit hole, and there's no turning back yeah. when you get into this hole, this whiskey fabric. We'll get caught up in the blanket or the banana hammock, if you will. <laughs> the whiskey banana hammock? <laughs> <laughs> Swami just mentioned uh, that horse looting. I don't know if you guys have ever had a chance to watch that guy, but he, he's a funny character, man. He. <laughs> He said he's great but scary. And then Jeremy said that he has to put him on mute when he sips because the guy takes a sip of whiskey and then he like slurps the crap out of it. It's kind of <laughs> kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and our whole our whole mantra was we you know, we we just wanted to have a good time. We were like that that sounds like so much fun. Like it, it it's stupid to say but we were like we can sit in front of a camera and bullshit. Oops, sorry. Uh, you know, for 
for, is it after for, 10 o'clock at night? For, for, yeah. We're good. It's 10 30. We've been on for an hour and a half. Yeah. So uh, it, it, it all kind of worked out. So Yeah. Honestly, sure like, I still I'll, – I'll get home and I'm approaching the door and I'll look to the side and I see a box on my doorstep of what I know is going to be whiskey and I'm just – Super yeah. <laughs> People, <laughs> friends like, of ours, oh my God, the best every day. Well, like, <laughs> and we're very, we're very new to this. We started January 21st of this year, so that was our first video. Wow, but that was one. That wasn't even our first. Doing video. really well for that. That's sure. I'll tell you, my first little bit was a grind. It took me almost a year to get about. I, I think after a year, I was around 600, and then. The next little push, like I'm, a, I'm about a year and six months now, and, in, and now I'm around a thousand. Yeah. Years, so. Oh, we, we plan on being about that five million mark we talked about earlier. We were sarcastic <laughs> when we said, well, give or take, you know, four million six hundred. If you guys haven't already, please go like and subscribe to these guys because they're awesome dudes. They are the best that's out there, especially when it comes to bourbon. They, you know, the Scott says dummies. Bubba and the Beard, Whiskey Whistle, Swami from Malton in Montreal. These yep. uh, honestly, like, you can't be happier with what's happened. Like, we we've actually all become friends. It's pretty awesome. Man. Yeah. Uh, and you're definitely welcome down here on set when we if you uh, if you're able to drive down here, that'd be yeah. that. I mean, there'll be balls. We that would be, be awesome. Be and cool. and the well, Queen Bee can get that set up. My wife is pregnant for our second, so. She's the uh, bring, bring down. designated driver, so <laughs> yeah. Don't bring her with you because the hospitals around here are horrible. <laughs> They're just like sheds. <laughs> like there's a oh, shed over there that has a cross. Three and a half months, so I think we're okay for the next little while. I have the summers <laughs> off as a teacher, so we'll be okay. I think yeah. as long as we don't get into the six month mark past that, we'll be okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's been a it's been awesome. Starting in January, and I remember, I remember like on our like our fifth episode, Scott says dummies commented on our episode, and we were like, I called the beard, and I was like, so did the, you see who commented? The dummies just the commented dummies, on our guys, video. We've been we've been watching these guys for how long? Well, then like on like the ninth episode, you commented, and I was like, dude, six just commented. Like this is kind of cool. Like, yeah, we're, we're, and like you said, like we 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 have a we got a PO box. Um, so, cause we, he live he lives about a half an hour away. He lives in another town. Uh, so we, we share, we, we put our money together and just got a little PO box and, um, it's awesome. Cause we'll go check the PO box and there'll be whiskey sitting there. Yeah. Like, people send whiskey all the time. Uh, like, Jeff Pickering says it's a sign. And I, and I was thinking like, if, if I knew five years ago that all I had to do was record myself talking about alcohol to get a couple free whiskey to get a free talking bottle about of the things that you already drink and do on a daily basis I yeah. I'm a legendary rye I know you're not familiar but they've given us this many bottles four of bottles they sent us this many bottles of whiskey and I don't know if you saw they, they actually made our own bottles so oh, they yeah, say they're, they're Iowa legendary rye and they say bubba in the private stock bubba in the beard that's pretty cool actually um Lafroig is sending me a bottle with one of my quotes on it, which is really? pretty cool. That's what, awesome. What's your quote, Rob? Um, nothing revs my engine more than getting punched in the face with a bunch of pee. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually uh, – you never want to open that bottle. Yeah. yeah I don't think I yeah, – they sent us two private stock Bub and the Beard bottles. They they'll never us, be open. They sent us an aged one and a white whiskey one. And That's pretty cool, open. man. We'll never open them. Yeah. That's awesome. I think um, maybe we should wrap them up, this live show up. So maybe you guys can talk about your channel a little bit, get these guys in the know if they're not in the know already. Well, well I just want to let you guys know that Ralphie gave me the finger once. No, that was Malton said that. I know. I just, wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to quote him. Yay, Ottawa. Just kidding. They're golfing. Hey, uh, but uh, Facebook, you know, Facebook.com bub, slash Bubba in the Beard. YouTube.com forward slash Bubba in the Beard. Um, if you want to email us, Bubba in the Beard 2127 at gmail.com. Yep. If you uh, want to tweet at us. it's uh, Basically, all of, our, all of our handles are either Bubba in the Beard or BATB 2127. 
And we get confused when we do BATB because there's also this thing called, uh, what is it? Uh, Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. They're nowhere near as big as us. Yeah, but. yeah. Beauty and the what? Hashtag BATB. And then I see this, like, you know, <laughs> musical, which I'd like to go see. I'm into musicals. I dig it. I went and saw Wicked two weeks ago with my family. Yeah. Oh, you said it. I know. She's not going. She, you know what? Girl. There's nothing wrong. You know, it's funny you mentioned that because – my wife, my son, and I were watching the the live, the real Beauty and the Beast before I came down here to watch, to do this review. To be honest, ah, oh, that's awesome. Well, be our guest, be our guest. <laughs> I was I was in a very terrible band in uh, university, so unfortunately, I was the singer. That's why we didn't make it very far. But uh. <laughs> hey, you know what? I knew a guy that couldn't sing very well. He just kept singing and kept singing. And after many, many years, he just kept doing it. He didn't care if he could sing or not. And after a while, it, we started to get better. Just yeah. like just like tasting whiskey, Rob. Yeah, no, maybe I'm, I'm should... okay. It's just we were we were just terrible as a group. So. What kind of music was it, Rob? What kind of music? It's uh, alternative rock. I grew up on '90s alternative, so absolutely, like like Nirvana, grunge? Bush, Nirvana, Bush, Pearl Jam, Pumpkins, uh, Pumpkins, you Pumpkins yeah. STP, oh, oh, yeah. STDs. You don't want those. No, not STD. <laughs> STP. <laughs> Audio Slave. Yeah. Soundgarden. God many, rest his soul. How many people in the live chat right now, Rob? Like twenty. Like Twenty-one left. We're dwindling a little bit. We had four more than – well, we, I think we got up to 27 or 28 at one point. Hey, yeah. good number, that 27. woo -hoo! My yeah. favorite number. That's good for – I mean, for a first live show, that's awesome. That is actually really good. Not bad. And then you're going to – Because usually the Scotch Just Dummies, they've been doing live shows for a while, and they get like – I think we had like 60, 50, 50 60, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they so also have – double the amount of subscribers that I have. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, like, I think you did really well with the, the number of people who came in tonight. So, uh, everyone is still watching right now, and what are you doing? Are you getting drunk yet? Because, <laughs> hey, how you doing? Get some money, money, money. Hey. <laughs> but, uh, hey, uh, right, thank guys. you. Thank you very much. Uh, you two stay on the line. Everybody else, thank you for joining us. You guys are awesome. Um, that's it for Love now. You guys. Cheers. Love you guys. Love your whiskey faces. Subscribe to both of us if you haven't already. Cheers.